Hi everyone, so today in that video what we're gonna do is like we're gonna create a spring like this that uh, have an animation and that change the gravity of our player and uh, make it jump and access some stuff that it can't uh, access. So let's get started. So basically uh, it's gonna be again an area 2D, what a surprise. And so we're gonna start by level and we're gonna go an area 2D, create. Uh, we're gonna create the sprite. We're gonna create a collision shape attached to the area. Um, and we're gonna create an animation player. But first we need to attach a um, shape to the collision shape. And then we're gonna create an animation player. So for the spring in itself, what I do, what I've done is that I basically just took uh, an animation that I have for my game, Black Owl, and so I'm just gonna share it uh, in the description box of this video, so you will be able to use it. And basically, it looks like this. It's nothing crazy, but it does the job completely, and it will be perfectly fine for that uh, tutorial. So I'm just gonna uh, come here, and I'm gonna go and export sprite sheet. I'm gonna go in my in the right folders, and I'm gonna come here. I'm gonna put it on sprite and it's gonna go spring and I'm gonna export it and so now I go back in Godot it's as loaded I just go on my sprite and I drag it into texture okay so now it has to be here yes it is so uh, in animation we're gonna go for four H frame so that's good and here on the collision shape what we're gonna do is like we're gonna just like make it a little bit a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna come here. I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna just snap it like this. Put it like this. And, ah, yeah, because I've I've snap I've put the snap option on. So I just need to make sure it's not like uh, stopping me to do what I want. So okay, I'm gonna put it here, something like that, and it'll be fine. Okay, so now we're gonna create an animation. One will be uh, idle and the other one will be active. So, active, voila. Okay, so we're gonna go back and first go on idle, then we're gonna go on sprite. We're gonna key uh, on frame and here we're gonna put it at 0 0.1. Uh, if you discover me with that video, I'm sorry if I'm, uh, I'm a bit quick, but I've done that a lot in my previous video about how to make a 2D Metroidvania. So I let you check my playlist because there is like a lot of stuff that you're going to learn uh, that, gonna, that are quite cool. So that's that. So now I'm just going to go on my animation. I'm going to go on active and I'm going to do the same. So I'm just going to this time create this. Then I'm going to come here to 0 0.1. I'm going to uh, press on the uh, arrow, the up arrow to one, and then Godot will do the job for me, like this. And I'm gonna put it at 0 0.4. Okay. So now I'm gonna rename my area. I'm gonna call it uh, Spring. And I'm gonna create a script. So I'm gonna come here, Spring, and I'm just gonna go back into my script folder and I'm gonna open it here and create. So now I have this that appears and so here we're not gonna do, we're gonna do something different. What we're gonna do is like we're gonna use uh, the node in the node of our uh, area 2D just right here. What we're gonna do is if we are selecting spring we have that uh, that appears into our node section of the inspector. You have the inspector here and node section here. We're gonna go and look for body entered we're gonna click on connect and we're gonna come, come on our player and we're gonna connect this and make sure that uh, we are making a, a function out of it. And so now in the player, uh, in the script of our player, basically what's gonna happen is that uh, it's gonna create this function just right here. And here we're gonna call a variable that we're gonna create right here. It's gonna be called var spring and it's gonna be equal to, let's say minus 600. Ah, minus not underscore and uh, basically here what I'm gonna say is that as simply as simple as it is I'm gonna say velocity dot y is equal to uh, spring I don't know if I have put it with a 
majuscule or not, for capital letter, no, it's all right. So that's it. And so now we're going to save it. And we're going to come to our scene. And oh, we need to do something as well uh, in the script. Uh, what we're going to do is like, yeah, we need to do that. So <laughs> I was thinking, no, we're not going to do it. But yes, we need to call the animation. I forgot about this, so it's going to be var bodies and it's going to be uh, get overlapping body right here. Then for bodies, for body in bodies, we're going to say that if body that name is double equal to player, we're going to say that. Uh, the animation player dot play uh, active and we're gonna put a yield right here we're gonna put a yield and we're gonna say that dollar sign animation player animation finished and if it's not the case what we're gonna say is that we're gonna say else dollar sign animation player dot play parentheses is idle and so basically this uh, will take uh, or the, the function um, the, it will call our animation player and it will check if the animation is finished so like that we will have like our animation that will be continuing to uh, play even if our player is not automatically on it but let, just let me check that first I've forgot about it so I'm just gonna take my spring I'm gonna put it let's say I'm gonna put it right here for example just under the, the coin voila yeah I'm gonna put it on idle and so I'm just uh, gonna do something else I'm gonna come here into my camera 2D I'm gonna go in the inspector and I think it was in offset no it was not ah, it was here in zoom I'm gonna say uh, dot five so like this it will have we would have like a wider field of view uh, when we're gonna play the scene and so now if I play the scene basically it should work so first my uh, spring is inactive and if I come on it it plays that's it that's good okay <laughs> maybe like 600 pixel was too much um, but it doesn't go back to um, our um, at its idle state so maybe I need to do something else so here I'm gonna just copy that line and I'm gonna see if it works so I'm gonna say idle so like that it comes back to it so let's say let's see sorry yeah it comes back to it and up okay that's great and so basically if you want to add a sound you can add sound too and so in this case what you need to do is to come here click on plus and look for audio stream and you add the node and then here uh, hold on where is it it's like this uh, so um, I think it was new audio, new audio stream sample something like that and so you have a, a space where you can drag this normally I, can't, I, um, I will come back to the sound anyway because right now I can't remember how I've done it in my previous um, previous game but uh, I will come back anyway to make a video on the on the sound but basically uh, that's what you need to do if you want to add sound to the to the spring you create that audio stream player you come on your player and then you call it here and you put the sound and that's it that's just as simple as that and so that's it for this video like it's quite a short one because this one was like a, a, a very easy one to uh, to create but yeah basically like uh, we can have now a, a player that is like uh, jumping in a spring and so it opens uh, a lot more gate into um, for like uh, creating a good game with good mechanics and stuff I'm just gonna change this I'm gonna put it at minus 400 that would be a bit better I think so let's see 
color this is better and so now you have yeah <laughs> as you can see the animation that plays etc etc so that's good so now we start to have like a lot of stuff we can collect coin we have the hidden area that is right here we have the breaking platform we have our lever that can open doors and um, uh, just make us change level and stuff we have or uh, auto tile and stuff so yeah that's we have a lot of stuff now and we're gonna continue <laughs> to build up on that to make like some some very good game so i just want to thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video bye